We are officially here. Three months ago, I booked this site and we finally have made it. Hi, I was looking for a rental vehicle, a uh, rental truck uh, that might be able to tow our camper. I've had multiple calls on that. <laughs> Interesting. Other people must be having bad luck today too. Yes, yes, it's, it's been crazy. So unfortunately, I don't have any truck rentals available. Oh, uh, life on the road. It's on our way to pick up our rental car and our U-Haul. Because no one has a rental car that will move our trailer. We need to move our camper. So we're going to rent a U-Haul. And I don't want to drive around the National Park with the U-Haul. So we need a car. Left the Costco. It's the curse of the Costco. The truck went into limp mode. Which if you remember from our previous videos in Mexico, that's when the transmission died. So I took it to the dealer. Had them scan it. And they found a code that had to do with the valve body. They reset the code and said, if it comes back, we'll have to maybe change your valve body. When I'm on my way, went into Jasper from Edmonton. No services around, really, middle of nowhere. We plan to be here for a month. We get four days in. Truck went into limp mode today, a couple different times. And we hear a strange noise coming out of the transmission. So it's on its way to the shop again appears as though my Mexican transmission has reached the end of its life without some intervention. This one should be fixable without a replacement. It's still going to cost some money. It's still going to have to find some rental cars and get the trailer towed somehow. Life on the road. car number one. I'm going to drop the truck off now. Don't tell the authorities but I am currently driving without my license because I left it at the camper because everything is just happening so fast right now. <laughs> Wednesday. Be good girl. We'll miss you. Thank you, Richard. We just dropped the truck off at the dealer two days early. Hopefully, they'll be able to get it in early. I want to hold my breath. So now we're taking rental car number one to go get our U-Haul so that we can go move our trailer. So we're on our way back in our rental car. So we were doing really good. Our plan was, okay, we're going to go pick up a rental car because we need some sort of transportation like now. Then we're going to drop our truck off and we're dropping it off early and that's no problem because we need to just get rid of that and have it where it needs to be and it can be looked at as soon as possible. And then we're going to go get a U-Haul. So we called and we got a U-Haul and we asked all the questions and it had a receiver that we could put our hitch in and it was going to be all good. So we went and we got our rental car, we got our truck dropped off, we're feeling really good, we're going to number three, get our U-Haul and we walked inside and the guy it's at like a gas station and the guys are like two kids and they're like oh the lady just went home she left at 3 30 well our reservation was 4 3 30 okay granted we're here at like 3 50 but she's gone and so they're saying there she, that we should have gotten a code so i check my email and we're like pissed and so kyle starts calling and uh he's calling you call and he's like what's going on anyways so I figure out that they have this virtual pickup where in your email there's an option to say yes I'm here I'm ready to pick up my truck and you go through all this rigmarole about you need to send a picture of yourself you need to take front and back pictures of your ID and you go through all this crap and uh, and so I'm doing that Kyle's still on the phone with the lady because we're having some troubles and then my phone dies while, while we're in the middle of that so then I need to switch to Kyle's phone so now we're doing that on Kyle's phone and we finally get the code to open up the lock box to get the key for our U-Haul truck, which is waiting in the parking lot. We, we saw it and said hello. And so now we have our key and it's cool. And so she's saying walk around the truck and make sure that everything is in good condition and no things that are damaged or whatever. And so Kyle walks around the back and he yells out, this is not going to work for us. Well, we were specifically told because we asked if we would be able to put our hitch in. They said, yes, it comes 
with a hinge, a ball that is regular on new balls. And there was an open spot for us to put our receiver in that way we could tow with our trailer. And they knew that we were doing that. That was very specific. This one did not have a blank spot for our receiver. And so now we're like, what the heck? Because this place is closed. So now we're here and we can't get our U-Haul truck now. We can't tow our trailer. We are no better off. We brought, we went all this way for nothing. We dropped the truck off for nothing. We got a rental car for nothing. And now what? And so they're all, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, that didn't help me now. So now what do we do? I don't know. What do we do? <laughs> we figure it out. Just like we always do. So we're going back and we're going to talk to the uh, park ranger and see if they have any options. Um, so I had today on vacation. Lucky me. It was a great vacation day. Best day ever. And so I have to go back to work tomorrow and our stupid site doesn't have cell service. No problem. We have a Starlink. Oh, stupid Starlink doesn't work because I don't know, there's one freaking tree that's blocking the way and it can't get signal. So we have a lot that we need to figure out like now. And it's like six o'clock here, eight o'clock my body time. I'm an Eastern time. And so we still have all this stuff to figure out and and we don't know what's going to happen. And we still don't know anything about the truck. We're only trying to figure out now. So Kyle and I are currently wandering the campground to see if there's a couple that might have a truck that would be willing to move us to a different campground tonight so that I could at least have cell service tomorrow. And then we'll be out of this campground and the people that have the spot next to us after us you can just pull right in but we don't really have the courage to just ask people like we've seen people sitting outside with their fire it just looks like they're enjoying their evening i don't want to go interrupt that so as soon as we grow up here and just ask we might have some good luck we're all smiles now yay grinning from ear to ear the first person we ask who also by the way has a passport just like i mean theirs is a lot newer and nicer but they have a passport too anyways first also they person, have a dodge ram which is they do nicer and newer yeah so we asked the stranger to move our camper uh 30 miles and uh barely even got the story out and he just goes sure yeah it was like no problem it's like <laughs> uh, no words necessary yes that's what he said and Kyle gave him a hug, <laughs> told me he loved him. So, we're gonna haul ass, go pack up real quick, and then get out of here. trailer we just totally gave somebody a complete stranger named jason from saskatoon saskatoon all of our belongings everything that is important to us is in that trailer and we said thank you <laughs> <laughs> he's going to mexico well this will be our last view coming down me at hot springs road the view of driving down this road every time has just been gorgeous just look at that
Ain't she a beaut? Well, we're all set up here at our new campground. Why did we move? Well, first of all, I have to work tomorrow. And, well, maybe I shouldn't even say first of all. First of all, we don't have a truck that can move and we are supposed to move tomorrow. We are supposed to continue on our next stop down our Jasper Banff journey. Uh, but we don't have a truck that can move us. And so this campground was closer to the current one that we were at yet. So we are currently at the Snaring Overflow, which is pretty cool. Our Starlink works here as well, which means I can work tomorrow. We can do all of our research. We can make phone calls here because at our last campground we at, we didn't have cell service, which is a pain in the butt, and our Starlink didn't work. So now we're at our new campground, and it's super windy here, but glad to be here. Finally feel a little settled in, like we have some time to think and breathe and figure out what our next step is. And Because right now, we still have to wait another day and a half basically until we can figure out what is even wrong with the truck and they're only going to diagnose it then like we don't really like they're not going to fix anything then so so fortunately for us the park gave us a refund on our night tonight at Miet. so that was cool because like this campground that we're at is actually half the price uh our campground for tomorrow is wabaso so we're going to need to decide if we want to go and pick up that U-Haul truck and then come back here and then move to Wabasso or if we just want to cancel Wabasso and just stay here. We need to figure all this out. So Wabasso has cell service, so that's cool. We won't have to worry about that. And it's very open, so we can use our Starlink if we need to as well. Uh, and they'll give us a refund if we need to cancel. So we've already asked. So, so far, campground stuff seems to be in our favor. So we'll take the win for now. Trying to figure stuff out. Got me a little taste from home. Cheers. Well, I am driving in rental car number two. Just picking it up. And, uh, yeah, saving lots of money here because this rental car is like 30 Canadian dollars a day. The other rental car that we got yesterday from the Ford dealer in Hinton is like 100 and, I don't know, a day so that is why we got the second car we're saving lots of money and this one is unlimited kilometers the other one we were restricted on 250 kilometers a day so anyways so this is how we spent our lunch hour today also it's our anniversary happy 14 years to us yeah this is how we roll and uh yeah so my lunch hour we spent driving 20 minutes from our new campground to jasper to get the car picking up the car and then driving back and i have a meeting promptly at one o'clock so oh and my boss right before i uh got to the avis told me hey i would like you to leave this meeting and i have so I need to bust and get back so I can prepare for this big old meeting and I'm super nervous, but it will be fine. Everything will be fine. Here we have two rental cars. How fun is that? Together, both of them could probably pull the trailer. We are on our way to drop off expensive rental car number one, the EcoBoost in front of me. We are just very tired today. Very blah out and it really makes us feel blah too. So. Since it's our anniversary, we had planned to have some steaks over the fire, which Kyle has been marinating the last two days. Our new campground doesn't have a fire pit, so now we'll have to cook them in the oven. And we have lobsters, so we have something to look forward to today. Still haven't heard about the truck, so I guess they weren't able to get it in early. That's unfortunate, but hopefully we'll hear something tomorrow. We're driving our space car. Well, at least Kyle is not driving the space. We are not currently driving the space car. The space car is driving itself. Watch the steering wheel. We're going around a corner. We're about to go around a corner. Oh God, does it do that? I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it's slightly adjusting. So it has this, oh my God, we're going around the corner. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my god, I want to grab the wheel so bad, but it's doing fine. This is insane technology. What does that mean? Why is it beeping? Keep hands on steering wheel. <laughs> wow. Technology.
The snake. The snakes. Yep. Two snakes. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> what? Anything else? The snakes, snow crab, and a fixed truck, and fourteen more years. Just fourteen. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Patiently awaiting a call from the dealer. Tick tock, tick tock. Hi, it's Trudy from Big Rock. Hi. Okay, so the mechanic has gone in there and checked things. Where'd my work order go? What do I do with my work order? Oh, right here. Okay, so he has diagnosed the solenoid and the wiring. So that solenoid, the little clips are broke off on the side, so it's your transmission solenoid. Um, the clips are broken off the side, so it's not staying where it's supposed to. Um, he noticed that your bell housing bolt, there's one missing. Your filler tube has a bolt missing out of it, and the, the bracket for your bell housing was never installed. Unfortunately, this is not going to be a quick fix. It's almost a day's job, and he is booked. How long are you guys in Canada in this area? Or what was your plan? Uh, well, I have a travel trailer, and I need to move it on Monday. We currently have a rental car, so the quicker the better. Yeah, I'm... So right now, for the diagnosis transmission, replace that transmission solenoid pack wiring and fluid. If I ordered them today, today is Wednesday, they wouldn't be here until Friday. I can't get you back in until... I've got to go over to schedule again. I was looking at, like, the 28th. Right. Monday? So, and Monday. And your rear diff has an internal noise. And in order to find out what's going with that, he would have to tear it apart, and then the vehicle will be stuck here until we get parked. And he's he's concerned that it might not make it back. So I might as well get it all fixed. Okay, I will. Uh, what's approved uh, by phone at four twenty six eight twenty three twenty three. Okay, I'll get these parts ordered, and I will touch base with you tomorrow and let you know when it's booked in and the ETA. So the noise actually isn't coming from the transmission on the truck. It's coming from the rear axle, the rear diff. Uh, they haven't opened it up yet. They need approval to be able to open stuff up. So I just gave it. So I don't have a full diagnosis yet. We'll see what happens. Uh, this one should be covered by warranty. It's just the time issue is going to be the problem now. And the transmission going into limp mode, there's actually a broken connector. So the solenoid and the connector, connection uh, electrical stuff can actually move around freely. Uh, and so he believes that's the reason why it's going into the limp mode. So there's not maybe any actual parts wrong with the inside of the transmission. But now that he has approval, he can open the pan, uh, fix the connector, uh, look and see what kind of condition everything is in. He said everything seems to be acting normal, so it probably just is the connector. Best case scenario, that's what it is. We are headed out after having the news of the truck. I would say part one news. We're going to go do some hiking, kind of burn off some energy. And uh, so today is like, I don't know, that we had the truck issue on Sunday, right? Sunday? Monday. We had the truck issue on Monday. We went yesterday waiting. Today is day three. And so we still don't quite have the full diagnosis because they're going to have more work to do. We don't know when that's going to happen. But, um, and we got the bill for the transmission piece, and that's going to cost us some shiny pennies. So I'm going to have to look in this rental car seat for some change. Anyways, um, I wanted to make a comment because in the last truck saga video when our truck broke down in Mexico, people commented about us just staying positive. And I will just say, like, it's a choice to be positive. We can dwell on all the issues. At the end of the day, we're still good. We're still here. We're still having fun, seeing awesome things, you know, living the life that we're choosing to live, although it's very stressful. Kyle says flip the camera around. And we're about to go into Jasper National Park and Icefields Parkway. We're going to go see an awesome hike. Maybe we see a grizzly bear. I don't know. Not that one. Uh, funny lady. <laughs> but yes. 
it is a choice to be positive and put your energy towards that and not just have negative thoughts and oh woe is me somebody always has it worse this will pass and then we'll be on our way and you know what we'll look back it'll be no big deal we won't even remember it so a little more information has happened on the truck today uh, we dropped it off on a Monday it's now Thursday the manager at the service center has emailed her district manager about how the warranty will work for the rear axle so they're waiting to hear back from that but irregardless it's scheduled to go in next Tuesday and Wednesday uh, the transmission stuff should get done and then they're opening the rear axle for the warranty stuff and to see what's wrong so then they'll have to get it approved by Mopar and order parts and then figure out how to schedule me in. So it'll be after Labor Day uh, before it's fixed, I would be uh, imagining my best guess. So it'll be probably three weeks. So... I don't know that I can do it. Let's practice again. Practice screaming. Okay. One, two, three. So the truck has gone into the shop today for rear axle diagnosis and transmission repair. We don't know what's going to happen, we don't know how long it's going to be. Uh, it's an unfortunate situation. We're going to have to rent a vehicle to move our camper and we have a rental car. Uh, it's such as life on the road, there's very little we can do about it. But we're just trying to remain positive. This is a pretty amazing place and as you can see we're out on a nice lake. And we're still doing some pretty awesome stuff here. A little 360 panel of the view. So, there could be worse things to have happen. We have everything we need, we're safe. We do have transportation. We worked around to get the camp removed. We're gonna go on and do some pretty awesome stuff and keep going how we're supposed to, just with somebody else's truck now. Yes, yeah, so if you haven't subscribed, now would be a really good time so you can stay up to date with what's happening with us and to check out my future videos that I will be posting soon about all the awesome things that we've been able to do here in Jasper National Park and Banff National Park. Thanks for watching.